Hey guys, I'm here in my backyard preparing for an alien invasion. The alien invasion is actually the emergence of Brood 10, the 17-year cicadas that will emerge in parts of the Mid-Atlantic and Midwest regions of the United States this spring. Brood 10 cicadas belong to an order of insects called Hemiptera, which means true bugs. Other examples of Hemiptera include aphids, leafhoppers, and bed bugs. There are actually three different species of cicadas that will emerge. They are Maga cicada septon decum, Maga cicada cassinii, and Maga cicada septon decula. The species names of M. septon decum and M. septon decula both refer to the 17 year life cycle of the periodical cicadas. The adults that will emerge this spring began their lives in 2004, back when George W. Bush was president and the final episode of Friends had just aired. Cicadas go through an incomplete metamorphosis, which means six to ten weeks after the eggs were laid, nymphs hatched which fell to the ground and then burrowed into the soil. They spent the last 17 years living underground, feeding off the sap of tree roots and progressing through five developmental stages called instars. One year ago, the cicada nymphs tunneled up to about four to six inches below the surface, where they are now waiting for soil temperatures to reach 64 degrees Fahrenheit, which will trigger them to emerge from the ground. So how soon will they arrive? Well, they're actually already starting to appear in some locations, so I went for a walk this morning to see if I could find signs of cicadas in my neighborhood. The first cicadas to emerge tend to be mostly males. Many of those males will be eaten by predators like birds, squirrels, and raccoons. This behavior actually helps a larger number of females survive the early feeding frenzy, which translates into higher rates of reproductive success. After emerging from the ground, cicadas shed their nymphal exoskeleton. They appear very light-colored at first, but their exoskeleton will get darker as it hardens. After about five days, the exoskeletons will be fully hardened and the males will fly into trees and start singing to attract female mates. Each species has its own unique song. The noise generated by brood 10 cicadas can be very loud, as high as 100 decibels, so it promises to be pretty noisy in my neighborhood very soon. After mating, females will use an ovipositor to make small cuts in new growth twigs and lay hundreds of eggs in tree branches. This can damage young trees and is called flagging. The netting we put on our young maple tree will keep out cicadas and protect the tree. In about two months, the eggs will hatch and a new generation of nymphs will fall out of the trees and burrow into the ground, not to be seen or heard from again until 2038. Thank you for watching. You can leave me a note or questions about Brood 10 in the comments below. I'll post a follow-up video when the cicadas arrive in my neighborhood. And until next time, stay curious.